Overthinking is to allow something to linger far too long on your mind that becomes a bother for you. Urban Dictionary describes overthinking this way. Something is on your mind and you continuously think about it. The thought gets you more in-depth and you start thinking about consequences, events and possibilities. So, in simple terms, it is when you do a lot of thinking but take no action towards a particular cause. The thing with overthinking is that your judgment gets cloudy. You get stressed and eventually it becomes difficult to act. According to David Sikosana, a South African businessman and philanthropist, overthinking also is best known as creating problems that are never there. Also, Jason Engay, a singer and songwriter said, don't get too deep. It leads to overthinking and overthinking leads to problems that don't even exist in the first place. I get it. You don't mean to overthink things, but it just happens. Here's the good news. You can stop it. How? Well, in this video, I'll share with you 10 simple ways you can stop yourself from overthinking. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss other exciting videos like this. Number 1. Be aware. And Kat Toll, a German author, said, The primary cause of unhappiness is never the situation, but the thought about it. Be aware of the thoughts you are thinking. The first step to overcoming your overthinking habit is to figure out how to know about it when it's going on. Be aware of how you respond to specific situations, especially under pressure. Doing this will help you deal with the issue because you can tell what might be the possible cause of the problem and what makes you get tensed or anxious whenever you think about it. The more mindful and conscious you are about it, the easier it becomes to overcome the habit. Amit Ray, an Indian author said, overthinking evaporates when you feel connected with your body, mind, breath and soul. Number 2. Don't think of what can go wrong but what can go right. Most times, when we start to overthink things, it's usually out of fear, fear of the unknown or failure. We think around all the negative things that may occur and when that happens, we get anxious and worried. The next time you catch yourself brooding on all the negative possibilities or outcomes of a thing, stop yourself as soon as you realize it and choose to think about the positives instead. Doing this will help you feel better and take control of your thoughts before you get into the point of anxiety and harm yourself. Number 3. Set short time limits for decisions. If you do not have a time limit for when you must make a decision and take action, you will have more than enough time to consider every angle of a matter in your mind resulting in overthinking. So, whether it is a small decision like what to wear to work or a big one like a career path to choose, ensure that you set short time limits to make a decision. Anna Claudia Antunes, a multimedia author and artist, said, Don't gaze too hard at your belly button or you will unexpectedly hit rock bottom. Also, according to Bruce Lee, a Hong Kong American actor, if you spend too much time thinking about a thing, you will never get it done. Number 4. Write down your action plan and track your progress. Writing down your plans and making sure you track your progress is an effective way of overcoming the habit of overthinking. You see, when you do this, you transfer all your worries from your mind to a sheet where you can easily see them. Doing this allows you to take action one after the other to help resolve them instead of having them pop up in your head now and then, leaving you stressed at the number of things you must deal with all by yourself. So make a list of the things you intend to accomplish for the day or week and then take steps one at a time for every to-do that you complete. Mark it off the list. You'll be surprised how happy it will make you feel to know that you are making progress. Number 5. Let go of control. Sometimes we get tempted to think that the only way to get the right result is when we handle a thing. Do you know what? That's a complete lie. Okay, maybe everyone around can't do it in a way that you like, 
but it doesn't mean that they can't do it or learn how to do it. So putting all that responsibility on your shoulder can result in overthinking. The truth is that you can't control everything. There will always be circumstances beyond your control. Don't try to be a hero. Instead, allow yourself to make mistakes and stumble. It will help you grow and be a better person instead of leaving your life in constant fear of what can go wrong if you are not there to control the situation. Number 6. Surround yourself with positive people The people you surround yourself with goes a long way in determining how you live your life. If you are always around people that overanalyze things, in no time you will begin to overanalyze things. However, when you surround yourself with people who think positively and choose to look at the positive side of life, situations, overthinking won't even be an option. Number 7. Forget about being a perfectionist The sooner we realize that perfection isn't something we should spend our lives chasing, the easier it becomes to live the kind of life that will make us happy. Don't pursue perfection. It makes you feel the need to control things and when you think this way, you'll begin to overthink things in a bid to avoid failure and set everything right at all cost. Number 8. Get plenty of quality sleep Mohammed Rumi, a passion poet, said, Put your thoughts to sleep. Do not let them cast a shadow over the moon of your heart. Let go of thinking. Sometimes, what we need is a break or a much-deserved rest or sleep. You see, when it comes to keeping a positive mindset and not getting lost in negative thoughts, getting quality sleep can help because when you don't, you become vulnerable to worry. However, this doesn't mean that you should force yourself to sleep every time, but to ensure that you get adequate rest as often as possible. Number 9 slow down a bit. As simple as those words, we often neglect it. Just slow down. Whether you are eating, riding a bike or exercising, remind yourself to slow down from time to time. When you do so, you'll be mindful of what you are doing and pay attention to your thought process at the moment because it is easy to get lost in thought when we are busy with specific activities and routines that we are used to doing. Number 10. Set a reminder on your phone If you find it challenging to remind yourself to stay mindful consciously, then you can try using your device, a smartphone, as a reminder. You can set an hourly reminder to help you do some of these things so that you don't get carried away and start overthinking. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.